Ball here, playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm John at the moment, but say goodbye to John because I'm starting a new game. Going straight from chapter one. We're gonna have to. We're gonna get Micah's gun in this episode, so we have to play for a few missions to get his gun. In chapter one, it's pretty easy to get his gun. I think you have to play through three or four missions to get through to the, his gun. So this is the start back at the snow level. So we've got to go through finding John, a few other missions before we get to the, our first exact actual fight with the O'Driscolls. Eighteen ninety nine. All right, I might just actually skip through this part. Or well, might let it play through, but I'm just gonna skip through this just to get it started. Otherwise, this video will be over three hours long skip through these skip okay that's as far as we can go to for now so this is officially Chapter one of six chapters. This is a big gears game. Indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. <sighs> I think this um, horse's name is Tiana. This is Charles's horse. He just lead us this warrior towards the mission. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Yeah, they just escaped the Blackwater Hot Fairy job. I hope you. Get, I hope there's a third one that comes out. I hope there's a third um RDR to three coming out sometime to carry on the story of the see what Dutch and Jose were like when they were younger, and maybe get to see. Fuck him, I could kill him. Fuck him, like I would kill him. Early ass. We'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. What about the money? Yeah, what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We <laughs> did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. 
But we sure can't get Beaver's Holly. Yeah. Soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. There's Mike the Red. You up ahead. Who are you? There's a homestead up a bit. Mike. Yeah, you can't yeah, fucking man. tell he Found looks like a rat right there. I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. It sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, you didn't make it. Unfortunately, can't um, That's too bad. Really skip some of these cutscenes. Most cutscenes you can skip. The start of missions. That's what I'm gonna do through the um just chapter one. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Kill you in a instant. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Probably. Ain't much. <laughs> so, so, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Not far. Oh, <laughs> It's fun antagonizing Dutch, Micah, and all the rest of them. Let's hitch up here. Nah. We don't need a hitch, I think we can just jump off here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. I'm just gonna take the lead here, Dutch. Got spotted, I think, or it. Go around me, Dutch. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. <laughs> 
I love the story. I love the story mode on here. You can already tell it. There's a dead body right there. That's Sadie Adler's husband. I am out of sight, Dutch. Hello. Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. Folks. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. I sit over here in the bus office. There's another one shooting from the window. Ready for you. Ah! You ain't yourself yet. Ah! Come on, Dutch. What? Don't be useless at shooting, Dutch. Yeah, he didn't get far. There's a cell underneath here. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree. Oh, I'm starving. is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Yeah, because you're such a good beast mental, aren't you, Dutch? Until the end of the, near the Keep end of the game. I pack these on the horses. Coin Take the jewelry, sorry, Sadie. Premium cigarettes is a first card. Listen to inspect it. Okay. Let's see. Up here. Will you get out of here now? I mean, Arthur. Let's search that medicine cabinet. Yeah, open health cure. 
Um, anything else? There's something on the table we can get cheese or something. Or bread chunks, I'm pretty sure. Salted meat, that's right. Salted meat. Alright, I think we can look back through in this quickly. Alright, I think. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, yeah, there's no Driscoll in that barn. Sure. Hey, anybody in there? Hello, horse. And he jumps from the rafters and stuff. Yep, <laughs> that's right. like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. <laughs> I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm spearing him. He yeah, won't get far in this go. storm anyway. Now, time to calm this horse. You're all right, boy. All right. Come on, horse. Let's go. Sadie Adler will fucking kill you, Micah. Oh, you dumb idiot, Micah. You stupid idiot, Micah. Just stab the fuck out of my face. Yeah. 
It's yeah, we're okay. bad men, but we ain't there. Get off. <laughs> we'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Adler. Sadie Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... he was a good man. Yeah. He Alright, can we skip this? Let me count. Oh, it's... Boy, boy, Mr. Adler, whatever his name was. I forgot what his name is, but. Sadie and Mike Adler, I think. <laughs> I just guess hey, Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Mike had found a homestead, but he oh. weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And All right, poor skip soul, that. Mrs. <laughs> Yeah, I don't give a shit. Alrighty, let's see. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Alright, let's go find where John is. I mean, Javier, he's the right character. I to the person who's watching. But he's not. Alright, just skipped one cutscene. Can't skip this. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. That usually means. Well, someone was there recently. That way. Sure, well, come on then. I'll follow you, Hulvier. I don't need to inspect the camp. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. Hey, stay on these tracks, come on. We'll go down the end, eh? You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. Not that way. <laughs> it's funny you'll get, when you go the other way, your game members react. <laughs> what really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? What are you doing? No, Pinkertons. There was crazy. Oh, the damn Pinkertons, yes. I've fallen down there before, Harvey, I know. Killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. Let's see how far down there. That's pretty damn far down. There'll definitely be no coming back from there. We got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped. Sean McGuire. You boys showed up from the other side of town. We were only just holding on. You already know cinematic right. view. But 
look if this will see the medic where he looks like. And snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Side by side with Harvey, it's quite cool and cinematic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when the snow thing is like that, oh yeah, that's like the sure sign that is. You'll get lost in the snow there. Hey. The horses won't Tom. hold on much longer. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there. Hey look! Over there! You see that? Dead horse here pursuit. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. I think this is the Mount. I think this is Mount Hagen or something. Or we'll close by it. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. The yeah, we can. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Rabbits. <laughs> Someone will shot you. Let's see. Let's play. Don't have anything anyway. So, we don't have any, um, we don't have much bullets in it. 32 bullets, just for a couple of wolves. Come on, <laughs> Stand him uh, a drop Ooh, he just about fucked that one up half He just about fell and fucking fell Stand down there, you he would have been dead for sure. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Uh, some whiskey. Javier uh, yeah. pulls out whiskey from his bag. Yeah. Here. Take a drink of that. Yeah. It's been there for ages. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. No. No, 
I can't. Arston, you hear me? I'm here. Out of the leg. That's John. We're coming. Hey. <sighs> Cool it down, monster. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. Alright, <laughs> sir. the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight. Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, <laughs> you alright? John's <laughs> friends are coming to see him. Hopefully this will lead us out. Yep, there's John Strange up there. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go! Draw him off. Come here, John Strange. Let's have a fight. Thing has not come in up yet. Uncle Party. Calm down, Harvey, his hooves. Go, Harvey, let's go. Oh, dear, I think we'll come and see. They didn't find him in that weather, he would be dead. He'd probably be I'm long there. gone dead. Makes fun of fucking John. Nearly there. Uh, 
Look here, Snowden, those wagons are there. Idiot, this is weak. Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ah, you oh. careful. It's your oh, it's his this is weak. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Mm, not today. You and Dutch <laughs> talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? <laughs> the west is where our problems are worse. Please. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait and thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm. Apple. We wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. Host. I guess. Not you sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Alright. Herman is a broken mirror. Let's take Miracles on X. Search draws. Alright. Dutch? Hi, Arthur. How are you feeling? I've had better days. Gonna be alright. Thank you, Arthur. Hosea. Survived another night. How are you doing? I've been better. <laughs> we'll find a way off of here soon. All right, Arthur. All right, let's just shoot through some of these. Nothing. Only a shit. Doesn't feel much warmer this morning. It's How cold, you, you silly bitch. Oh, I feel like I'm warm. getting a bad dose of it. Let's go for this mission. Let's do build this mission. Build, maybe. Yeah, let's do this mission over here. And they're having a little fight. Oh, three in the Couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Shut up, Micah. We're out got Lesso and the shotgun a bit. Southwest, right, Arthur? No, yeah. southeast. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. This is where we would get our dead eye. But we don't need to use dead eye really in this mission, I don't think. What 
us that. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. They seem so fools tricks, so you... Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago. I like bull, bulls, horses, got a fairy feet, which is quite cool. <laughs> this feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way or another. It will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. This mission we can get by you killed his brother, Dutch. He killed yes, one right <laughs> I And hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. Oh? I should just fought, fought you in the firing yes, line, eh, Mike? Of that. Let's cut up here and take a look. And we just keep off so real. Get a sense of the layout of the camp, <laughs> Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell. You two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. All right, Dutch. Take your word on it for now. Usually, I think so. Yeah, that's him. There's Kieran Duffy. That's the guy. Come on, just go. Come on, just go. <laughs> he don't seem very happy. No. That girl's carrying a bit of a slap pain. <laughs> Should we go get him? No. Cole can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. Alright, let's go smack them around a bit. <laughs> Come on, let's get down there. Right. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Nah, I'll just do it with my pistol. You two get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Um Right there, yeah. Good. Come on, let's go. This one's called the cowboy and repeater. Take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. Of those you wanna hold my hand lit badly, Dutch, eh? Push down that mountain, Dutch. 
It'll be fast the way down. <laughs> Alright, Javier and Bula, um, Javier and Lini are up there. <laughs> we'll get the bow shortly afterwards, but... This one's all about Micah's gut and his mission. So we've got binoculars. I don't have any gun oil in me, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's get to the building in front. <laughs> you boys can deal with the first guy, but I... I mean, the second guy... I'll take the lead. I shoot that pretty punk's head off. Stay low. Nah, I'm staying pretty good too. I don't stay with her. The half was just like walking straight up. I don't have to stay low if I don't want to. Okay, let's get in cover. Right, okay. So. Doing Dutch. That guy in there, Just and then we run around the. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay, I'll go first. Hey pal, I'm right here, shoot me, shoot me, man. Shoot me right in the head, right in the head. Come on. Oh yeah, you can, you can. Come on, come on. Thank you. Retry checkpoint.
Come on, pal. This way. Where's Marker at? Right over here. Right over here. Try to shoot point okay. <laughs> to restart on the ship. Change my gun around from the start. Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the land. Right. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said, follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. Quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you can't call him O'Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, <laughs> I did. I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Get up! Whoa! Hold up here. Hey, where are you going? Oh. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. This is it. 
Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Okay, we'll click the guns thing. I don't know why the delay thing hasn't come up yet. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Go get them. No. Cole can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. Sure thing. Yep, that gun and that. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Of Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. A couple. On. So we only got two dollars thirty at the start of the game. What? Okay. <laughs> Go heal me, Dutch. I'll just see what's in my inventory real quick. Okay, that's all good. It's a shame you can't get Dutch's gun or um, Bill's Maybe gun, but you can get Micah's. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Stay. 
Layla. Come on, I'm ready. Stay low. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's get in cover. So doing Dutch I can take this if you want just make the call you want to take the lead go. okay I'll go first Fucking get up there quick enough. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay, I'll go first. Come on, fairly well. Follow me. Yes, the earth. Mark has gone. Got Mark has gone now. Got Michael's revolver now. I don't know why I'm dead or I think ain't coming yet. Got that guy on that tower. Yeah. 
There's gonna be more of them, Dutch. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest. Hold up, I'm gonna climb up here. See? That's good. We need that. Face, hey, Bill. Oh, what are you gonna use? <laughs> yes, here comes the dead eye. This is where we need it. Running away from the fight, eh, Micah? <laughs> nice one, Micah. <laughs> Killed a heap of him, eh? Cause he got disarmed, so. That means we've got his weapon. And plus, the revolver's better than the Kettleman. The um, revolver's better than the Kettleman's. Double action revolver ones are tougher than the um, cannon ones. I've already looted those two, have we? No, haven't looted them. Flu. Building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. No. 
those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Alright, I think I've looted mostly all of them, but this guy up over here. And maybe up here. Alright. Hey, Dutch. Marcus found the stuff we need. Yeah. Hold up. So, I've never searched this chest before. Oh, there's can of vegetables and health care. There's usually a Valerian read up there, I think, so there's a ladder somewhere. Health cure and the cigar, why the hell not? Hmm, what was that? My hat. Let's run up here a bit. Take the bourbon, take the not a uh, cigar. Suit over here, cigar, chewing tobacco. Can't carry any more. Search the tissues. And a coin purse. Snake oil. Cool. Search this. There's the dynamite. This looks <laughs> good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us as hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life. Look at that. Like his revolve up here. Yeah, John. Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get cold, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay... Now we've got ourselves the deal, I think. We know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. <laughs> are you sure, Dutch? Are you sure about that? Alright, 
Dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Look at that. He's slow. He's slow. We've already got him. Look at that. Come here, Kieran. He's an O'Driscoll at the moment. Let's lead him. Snail, was you? Boy? I don't know. You don't know your name. It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. They don't want you down in Mexico, Driscoll boy. I'm begging you. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Karen Come Duffy's on, okay, just but... Just let me go, please. Come on, just name your price. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> That's two bones right there. <laughs> Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas is need shooting. Save fellas is need saving. And feeding is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Micah's revolver, so we go save it right now. I don't care that I've got bronze. T 
gold is always the tedious one to get. Any mission you do. I'll just leave the. So, go see what is happening in the progress so far. Challenges. Let's see what the challenges are. Uh, is it. Weapon expert. Kill three enemies with a knife. And then that's like a throwing knife one or something. In, in, in 10 seconds. Let's kill a bird, flying bird with tomahawks. Not discovered. Save game. <laughs> Old friend. So that will be our top. What that sounds can't play through so we'll just do one more um one more mission and then I'll do ship the two <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. Come on. This way. This is where we get to. <laughs> See the hunting mechanics for the first time in the game. From this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Got ourselves a bow now too soon. That's cool. You'll be fine. Just aim for the hit off. You reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Yeah, when you get your um, dead eye up to, I think, over level 5 or something, you can hi target highlighted areas. The high, um, weak points will show up, in other words, the critical areas. Of a person a and this is good. animals. Let's try this way. 
Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Yeah. Hold. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Alright, let's go. No, use the bow I gave you. I don't make too much noise. The bow, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Nope, I don't see no tracks at the moment. And now I do. Keep low. Uh, oh, there's something right over there, I think. There's something over the oven. Down the Alright, there's two. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head. Good shot. See another one yet. Ah, uh, yep, there's two over there. Come here, horse. Come here, man. Head 
Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak. Well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Yeah, Jose's plan is not to drop the train. Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. <laughs> He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since years. I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. 
Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. <laughs> Any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me really. It's his sad way of showing a face. Oh, of course. No, it <laughs> is. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. <laughs> you earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. Let me find him a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one that you dumped on the floor there. Well, I don't miss that shot, he'd still be a three star. Or a two star. Maybe. Depends what kind of star you want to for. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, uh, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, <laughs> Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. <laughs> yeah. well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Let's make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> Yep. Ma Master Hunter challenge. Check your log for more. In a bad few weeks. Late. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans. Oh, how are you doing? Dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me something. Oh. Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Rip. You still here then? Uh, I mean. Pay me. For the moment, just rest. Arthur! I think it's time for the train. Want me to go? Of course I do, but.
might as well just do this mission in full chapter one. Will be complete after this mission, so. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run <laughs> That includes you too, Arthur. <laughs> So we'll be um, in a few days. Shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dutch? Hold up here on the ridge. Easy. Hold. Whoa. You build there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Yeah. by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Alright, so this... 
doesn't go to plan this part here. Soon find out. Everything okay? Yeah. I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. <laughs> I like just annoying them. <laughs> I just like waiting until he says. That includes you, Arthur. <laughs> that includes you, Arthur. <laughs> I just love annoying Dutch like that. I just don't Gentlemen, listen to it to come out. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Where did you, know you find that moron? <laughs> Take your time with this, Lenny. That's what we're doing, kid. Let's keep moving. Loot where we go. That's the way I do things. How you get more money and all that.
shot him. Taking my time, pal. Candy. <laughs> All right. What are you doing on the Lenny? You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this lad's car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Many more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. All right. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you're good at death wish, you'll stand you back. Not step back, fellas. At this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Well, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing. Planting him pocket watch. Yeah, but... I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, you, there's some uh, premium there. cigarettes. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Oh, it's some invoices. Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar and 
imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot bigger got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. Let's take the brandy water helmet. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we could probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. <laughs> Alright. Okay, get on the train, quick, on it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. Get a move on. Okay, send the train away. Oh, who's? Loot as much as you can. That's gonna when we get to horseshoe overlook. That's gonna be the last part of chapter one. So Eastwood Bell. Hell hole. We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be in. That's a bunch of hillbillies, or whatever they called. <laughs> a bunch of drunken idiots at the Valentine's. I remember right. <laughs> okay. Get us out the street. <laughs> Gotta keep us moving, but calm. The caravan breaks right. Here. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. 
You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. Right? You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> So useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> He's still low. He's still strong enough to hold up a wing. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Sold them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, old blockhead driver so, over here. <laughs> what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. 
He, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. And I am off from the soon as I will be getting rescued shortly. But, hot animal. Head in there, follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Come on, Harvey. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. <laughs> Every last one of us. But I kept us together. <laughs> kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. A long way from a dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are <laughs> safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. <laughs> Seems more Everyone, dignified, yeah. put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too... So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There's a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, 
I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Fuck, she's a big old man, ain't she? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Chapter 1 is complete. called the Heartland. He'd been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. And I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. I think... Jose... Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm <laughs> sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. Alrighty, so, uh, I'll do it for this episode, um, oh, Arthur, my boy, my dear boy, what's going on? Nothing, nothing at all, for the first time in weeks, nothing, we're free, we're free, to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Save it Arthur. right here after you we stopped. Kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Alright. Save it here. Yep. Alright. I'll do it for this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one. Before I go, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace out.